Well, when you have one of these guys and one of these guys, you need a lot of these. There's definitely a need for a lot of feeders and uh, today we got more super worms than we um, originally bargained for but it worked out in our favor so uh, let's go ahead and unbox all right make sure I got everything in frame so what originally happened was um, I ordered a thousand super worms from rainbow mealworms and they were shipped priority mail which is only supposed to take two days but for some reason the post office decided to carry my package all around California to about eight different facilities in California before finally they got to South Carolina so a thousand of these may be dead um, gotta find out which box it is because Rainbow Millworms was so kind that I called them and told them what had happened they didn't question it they sent me another thousand mealworms immediately and I got them the same day that I got the package I waited eight days for. So Rainbow Millworms is awesome. Definitely use them. They are one of the best commercial feeder insect dealers. And I only deal with them for that reason um, because they're a huge company, but they make you feel right at home. So let's go ahead and unbox these mealworms. Open real quick. I'm really hoping that. Uh, these guys are just fine. Package real nice and tight. Come in this aerated box inside of a bag. Let's see what's right in. This must be the older bag because there is a ton of just poop in there but this should be uh, 2,000 total so I'm gonna start breeding my own so I've got plenty to, to work with and I'm gonna feed a lot of these so uh, they come in this mesh bag with newspaper to keep it insulated and these guys seem to be okay there's a little bit of gunk everywhere. I don't really know what that is, but there's a thousand right there. Kind of, yeah, this must be the old one for sure. You gotta be careful when you check in the newspaper. They like to hide in all the different crevices and crawl in between the holes really shake it out. Yeah, there definitely appear to be a lot of dead ones in this package. So this is definitely the old one. I'm going to have to sort through and get those out of there. It shouldn't be a problem though. Only looks about, there's probably a hundred dead ones in here. So that's not too terrible at all. Getting down to the last pieces of newspaper. And if you've ever wondered what 1,000 super worms looks like, this is what it looks like. And I've still got a whole other box. Let's see if you can see this right here. There is a ton of them in there. Uh, now I'm just going to go through and pick out some of the dead ones.
Okay, so apparently I was quite off with my guess, and there was only 22 dead superworms, which was awesome, especially for being in the mail for eight days. So I'm just sifting through. Look at this. Tons of them. All right, let's go ahead and open up the other package. This shipment turned out pretty nice and Rainbow Millworms was wonderful to deal with, so I would definitely recommend them for any of your insect needs. They've got them all. And I don't know if you can hear my bearded dragon back there, but uh, I think he deserves a little bit of a treat, so we're going to just let him go ham in here. what to do. Now he's just having a feast. Get him, Shadow. Get him. See, this is every bearded dragon streams. I've seen this in a few videos before and I've always wanted to try it. Uh, he's not even a year old yet. He's still pretty young and got a lot of growing to do. But it looks like he's just absolutely having a great time. What you think, Shadow? Is that good? If he could, he'd probably eat them all. before long though. I can already tell he's kind of slowing down. Get that off of him. I'll have to count in the video, but um, I'm not sure how many he ate. I think he's done though. It's about all he wanted. He's still young. So I'm going to take him out of here and get him back in his cage, but just wanted to do that always, so pretty cool. That is frame. See, the thing about superworms is they will eat more than, in my opinion, any other feeder insect that you're going to get. More than crickets, more than millworms, more than dubia roaches. These things will plow through food. Um, what I like to do is get some regular old quick oats. I've got two of them. Uh, these were about $2 a piece. This one's already been used. I like to get them in their tub and just get it all in there. See, we're going to need more, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this other uh, oat barrel. Get it open. Uh oh. Come on now. Well, that didn't work out. I'm gonna figure something out here. Get these suckers out of here. Alright. So now. Add about that much and check. Oh yeah, there definitely still needs to be some more. This is gonna have to be pretty thick. 
kind of want them to be covered. Yeah. I'd say a little bit more. It'll be golden. You want them to have enough to wear it. They have enough to burrow in without getting all up on each other. I mean, there's 2,000 of them, so you're not going to escape the fact that there's going to be super worms everywhere, but the next thing I like to do is get some kind of potatoes you got laying around, or carrots, oranges, banana peels, whatever you got. I'm going to take these potatoes out. I'm going to grab my uh, knife right quick. And we're just going to cut this thing long ways. Be careful now. We'll just put that in there. Cut on the other side another slit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough to get them some good eating. And since there's 2,000 of them, I'm going to put plenty of potato on here. Sorry about that. I was just cutting up potato and I got a call. Got a couple more to put in here. Just put them skin side down so they don't mold everything. And this will give them plenty of uh, food to grow and moisture. Hydration. That'll be enough potato. One more thing I like to do is if you go to McDonald's, um, where I got these drink holders, if you go to the drive through and politely ask them, hey, um, can I get a few of those drink trays? And they'll give them to you. Um, I offer to pay always, but they don't have a way to put them in the system, so always ask, and they'll be willing to give you these 90% of the time, and they work great for superworms and all sorts of feeders, doobies, everything, um, and I just give them a couple of those to crawl on top of, as well as some egg crate style ones, and that's really it. Um, if you wanted to, you could put some water crystals in here, but it's not needed since they have the potatoes. But um, that's really all she wrote. I mean, these guys would be good, and as you can see, they're already going for the uh, potato. Go ahead and bring it down. So they are definitely good eaters. This stuff will be gone in a day uh, or two, and I'll have to replace it. But Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a good time making it. If you enjoyed the content, let me know. And uh, hope to see you guys soon.